What's up YouTube, Spokane Silver Stacker here. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about how to store your coins. So there are so many different options and I will start off first with slabbed coins. Now for me, I keep mine in this PCGS box. It's hard plastic box. So I don't have a whole lot of slabbed coins but there are different types and they're gonna vary in sizes. So here's an NGC and here's a PCGS. Now the PCGS fits perfectly into this box, but the NGC, it's a little bit thicker. So my lid does not close all the way. So if you have a lot of slab coins, you'd wanna kind of stick with putting them into a box uh, specific for that thing. So there's NGC boxes and there's PCGS. Now, on my coins, I always keep this plastic covering on it in order to avoid any scratching. So that just helps keeps, keep the coin safe from getting scratches and fingerprints and smudges on it because it doesn't look good when a coin has a scratch on it. And I have an example of that. I think right here. So this coin has a scratch on it. It was like that when I bought it. That line right there at the bottom, that is on the case, not on the coin itself. So it just doesn't look that good and then when a case gets dirty and scratched up it makes the coin look worse than it actually is and that's kind of a problem so there's also other options for storing your coins if you don't have the slabbed coins and you're buying your coins just raw they're typically gonna come in a flip like this from the coin shop. So I do not like to leave mine in the flip. I don't think it's a good idea. It doesn't really protect it. That could just slide right out when I pick it up. And me, I like to handle my coins. Sometimes they'll come in a little two by two like this, which I do not like to keep my coins in these either. Some people do. This is definitely more protected than just a flip. But for me, I buy cases like this, comes in this box. This is a new one that I just got. So, a bunch of empty airtight capsules, right? And they come with uh, foam gaskets to help protect your coins if it's not a right fit. So, that works perfectly with some of my 90% silver. So we got these half dollars and I put these in cases just to kind of show. Typically I'll have my 90% in tubes like this. Now I'll get to the tubes in a second, but just showing going back to the cases, you can see how you know, if, if I had just put this coin in here with nothing, it would just shake around. This one's still a little bit, but not much shaking. And this gives you a chance to kind of look at the coin. So if you have it in a tube, right, you have to open it up each time. You want to show the front and the back. I mean, this is definitely nice if you're not handling this a whole bunch. And this is junk silver, so this really doesn't matter as much. You know, you got the halves, you got the dimes. I think these are these are all Mercs. So tubes are nice, and especially, you know, if you have a lot of generic rounds, there's a nice toner. You're gonna wanna put them in the tubes. You know, if these were all buffaloes or something like that, I don't keep a lot of my stuff in the tubes. Right now I've been mostly working on Morgans, but a couple things. Some of these Route 66 ones. I got 
these in the tube and I got cases as well. So, as you can see, this fits the American Silver Eagle perfectly. But, for some coins, it does not. Like I showed with the 90% silver, and then with my Morgans, you know, it just takes one little ring along the outside just to keep it from, you know, shaking and, and hitting the edges on it all the time. Just that little extra protection. And here's a nice CC. I don't know if you can see that. I don't think it's zooming in right. But yeah, this is a 93 CC. 93 oh. And obviously not in the best condition. But that's what I like about these uh, cases is that if you have a nice piece of generic silver that you want to pick up and you want to show off, right, you can pick it, off, pick it up, show it off without getting your fingerprints on there all the time. This nice John Wick coin, right? I wouldn't want to put that in a tube. And you can use the tubes for bars too. So this carries my bars. I don't have that many, just a couple. There's about five ounces here, but these are all Englehard, I think. Nope, almost all Englehard. So that's another way to kind of protect your coins, your silver. You want to you want to keep it safe. You want to keep it protected. You don't want to damage it or anything. So those are recommendations. I, I don't suggest you keep it in the flip when you get it from the coin shop. And of course, you want to keep this stuff secure in your home. Uh, or somewhere where you have access, easy access to it. I wouldn't put it in a safety deposit box because if you need to get it or want to get it, you know, it, it, you may not have access to it at, in an emergency. So having a nice safe, having good protection for your coins, that's what I recommend. Well, thank you for watching my video. Please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button. And I hope you have a blessed day.